Hi, this is Jay with eXp Realty, and I always get asked a lot of questions about real estate, and I'm always happy to help. And that's why I made this video. So I hope you enjoy it. And if you need any help buying your next house, please give me a call. Underwriting the loan. There are a few things that need to happen after you go under contract to buy your new house. These things will ultimately affect when you can close on the house. And one of the main things that needs to happen is the appraisal. Did the house get appraised for the value that you agreed to pay? If it gets appraised for more, then no problem. You have a little equity as soon as you move in. But if it gets appraised for less, then we have a problem unless the seller agrees to lower the price to match the appraised value. Next, we want to be sure that the title company has looked into the history of ownership of the house and that there are no clouds on the title. A cloud is an encumbrance, like a foreclosure from a lender, a mechanics lien from a contractor who worked on the house, or the IRS for back taxes. If a cloud exists, you do not want to close on the house until that cloud is removed. Otherwise, you're buying a problem. Finally, we have to get the loan through underwriting. The underwriter is the person that reviews all the details of the loan, and it's also the person that is responsible if the loan goes bad, so they are very meticulous. They could ask for any number of items from you, an updated bank statement, a letter from a previous employer, or just a recent pay stub. Once all of those conditions are met and the underwriter is satisfied, then the closing process can start. How long does it take to close once the seller accepts my offer? The time frame to buy a house depends on how you are paying for it. If you are paying cash, homes can be bought anywhere from 7 to 14 days depending on how fast documents can be processed and the inspection being done and everything that might need to be fixed being done. The truth is for most of us that we need to get a loan to purchase our home and the lender we choose will have the most impact on our timeline. If you can get the lender everything they need up front and in a timely manner, which usually means the same day that they ask for it, a good lender like the ones we work with should be able to get your loan processed and closed within 30 days. I hope this was helpful and if you liked the video, please forward and share it with anybody that you think might be buying a house this year. And if you have any questions, please feel free to call, email, or text me.